what we need to uh, consider as we look to 2023 is the three things that will be different than the past. A lot of the opportunities that they have are a function of the continued evolution of Aldi and Lidl in the market, as we've heard from a number of the presenters. Yeah, we would like to, to show you some um, slides about the growth, about the success of discounting. So now we focus more on Aldi and Lidl specifically. So um, in the previous slide, we showed you um, the number of SKUs and development of the formats. Does a Lidl have all of the products that you need that you predominantly get in your basket for your main weekly shop? China is one of the most interesting markets and it's a huge potential uh, for food market. So um, Aldi now have 30 stores. So they've they opened their first store three years ago. So they've grown to 30 stores in the past three years, um, but all of them in the Shanghai area. They rule the market here. They are not ready to develop private label. Um, why should they do that? That's that's their uh, day game. Imagine meat and poultry and Bake Off having really large participations. Is that they're incredibly profitable. Uh, so they are probably the most profitable retailers in every market on an EBITDA basis. So what does that mean then for a discount when this happens, uh, those price uh, undercuts, they start reacting in such kind of way and especially you see it now very intensive. Also again, part of this central buying will be how do we get the efficiencies of keeping that tight range and then buying that range really efficiently. Discounters are doing very well in high inflation markets like Turkey.